instructions were really bad. Let me show you which one it was. It was this one. Like, yeah, did I eventually get a dress out of it? Sure. But like, was it written for people who like have eyes and need to read? No, no, it was not. If you're like really familiar with like sewing and patterns and stuff, you'd probably be fine. But like, if you don't have a lot of experience, this stuff doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're really experienced, you can probably be like, oh, I think they're trying to say blah, blah, blah. 
Um, oh, also, um, the hair, I, I do like it. I was just having a bad day yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this is it. I have like this little beret. Anyway, so here's my outfit for today. I have like ruffly socks and I was wearing long lace up boots, but maybe here's the dress. And here's my bows. I attached them with snaps. So when I go to wash um, them, it, hold on, let me give you some better lighting. That's slightly better. Anyway, so I apply, attach them with snaps instead of throwing them on. So I can remove them when I go to put them in the put this in the washing machine. This is all cotton, so it, as long as I don't dry it, it won't get weird. But yeah, um, then I can remove these, and they won't get all janky looking, and I won't have to like try to iron the bows or do anything annoying. So let me go try this on for you. So, like I mentioned earlier, I had to add elastic to the sleeves and to the front bodice. Um, then, yeah, you can see here, these are kind of scrunched. This is what it wanted me to do. I think it looks a little messy, but whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't have enough fabric to make the front bows the right size, but I figured it's okay if they're slightly smaller. So these are like way bigger, but they're my, honestly like a little too big. I'm kind of glad that the front ones are a bit smaller because I feel like it would be a little too overwhelming. And yeah, because they are snaps, they do turn slightly. So I'm not sure if I will do anything about that. I probably won't. But <laughs> yeah, this is the dress that I made. It's my first um, like full piece of clothing that I fabricated. I've like made alterations to stuff before, but I've never like made my own piece of clothing before. And of course I picked something probably a little too adventurous, which is why it took me like three years to actually finish it. But it's finished now and I'm really proud. Also, the pattern wanted like bows here and like here, but that's not really me. That would be like too cutesy, which like this is obviously kind of that style, but I just feel like it'd be a little overboard to have that many. So I just wanted them on the bottom and then it also wanted the bows and the under ruffle to be contrasting colors but I thought it would um, be cool if it was monochrome because then it would show off the texture of the dress more um, and so it has like variety through like dimension rather than color and contrast and I also thought if it was had an alternating color like bow or slip it'd be kind of more difficult to like match shoes and stuff with so if it's monochromatic it'll match everything especially because it's gray so i can put on whatever i want with it and i can do different themes to um accompany whatever mood i'm in i started this project because i've always really loved um japanese alita fashion but their dresses that are like not off taobao or really heckin pricey and after making this they should be they are not easy dresses to make they require a lot of material and a lot of time but i also don't want to just drop like 300 dollars for like a jumper skirt so uh, great experience i understand my brand costs what it is it definitely should have cost that much and i also gained an appreciation for how much really goes into clothing making and it really solidified my hatred for fast fashion. Um, nobody could pay me 50 bucks to make this. That would be ridiculous. And so if you go to a store and a dress is like $50, 
that labor is making nothing. You're literally just paying for materials and shipping. That worker is getting like no money. Um, so yeah, thank you for going through this dressmaking journey with me and be kind to yourself and others. Have a good day. Bye.